We're doing MCQs of group 17. So question 61. The solids sodium chloride and sodium iodide both react with concentrated sulfuric acid. Sodium chloride and sodium iodide react with concentrated sulfuric acid. Okay, so with sodium chloride, the products are these, and with sodium iodide, these are the products. So what is the reason for this difference in products? The first option is chloride ions will displace iodide, iodine from solution. Okay, so this is wrong because sodium chloride and sodium iodide are not reacting together. So there is no reaction between chloride ions and iodine. So that is why option A is wrong. The reaction is of sodium chloride with sulfuric acid and sodium iodide with sulfuric acid. Second option, hydrogen chloride is more volatile than hydrogen iodide. Okay, so hydrogen chloride is more volatile. This is again wrong because it's the fact that hydrogen iodide is more volatile. It boils at a, it vaporizes at a lower temperature. So B is wrong. Option C is iodide ions are better reducing agents than fluoride ions. Okay, so option C is the correct one. First we'll, first we'll see option D, sulfuric acid is able to act as a dehydrating agent with Na sodium iodide. So D says that sulfuric acid acts as a dehydrating agent with NaI, but Sulfuric acid on reaction with sodium iodide reacts as an acid and as an oxidizing agent. So option D is wrong. Option C, now coming back to option C, iodide ions are better reducing agents than chloride ions. This is correct because, because iodide ions are better reducing agents, that is why iodine is formed. But because chloride ions are weaker reducing agents, so they cannot form chlorine gas. Question 62, an excess of chlorine gas is passed through 60 centimeter cube of cold aqueous sodium hydroxide. Okay, so chlorine gas is passed through sodium hydroxide. In a separate experiment, an excess of chlorine gas, again chlorine gas, is passed through hot aqueous. This, first it was cold aqueous, now it's hot aqueous sodium hydroxide. How much more sodium chloride will be produced by the reaction with hot and okay. So first we'll write the reactions, the equations for the reaction of chlorine with hot aqueous sodium hydroxide and cold aqueous sodium hydroxide. So first with cold, so NaOH plus Cl2 will produce NaCl plus NaClO plus H2O. So two over here. Balanced. Okay. Now for hot, it's NaOH plus Cl2 produces NaCl plus NaClO3 plus H2O. This is six. This is five. There are six chlorines and six hydrogen on the left side. So three water. Now, first we'll calculate the moles of sodium hydroxide, 60 into 0 0.1 upon 1000. Six times 10 is to the power minus three. And that is the same for the hot aqueous sodium hydroxide. So in the first reaction, the ratio of sodium hydroxide to sodium chloride is two is to one. So that means six times 10 to the power negative three is to X x equals divided by 2 x is 3 times 10 to the power negative 3 now in the second reaction the ratio is 6 is to 5 so 6 times 10 to the power negative 3 is to y y equals 5 times 10 to the power negative 3 now we have to find the difference this was produced by a hot and this was produced by cold sodium hydroxide so we have to find how much more sodium chloride was formed by hot NaOH. So the difference will be two times 10 to the power negative three, which is equals to 0 0.002 moles. Option A is correct. Okay, question 63. 
fluorine and iodine are group 17 elements their melting points are, diff are different due to different strengths of van der waals forces which row is correct okay so <laughs> fluorine has lesser electrons than iodine which is why fluorine's melting point is lower so fluorine has a lower melting point option c or d and strength of van der waals forces are stronger in iodine so option c will be the correct one question 64 in a series of nine experiments to test the reactivity of halogens an aqueous solution of each halogen was added to an equal volume of an aqueous solution containing halide ions okay so aqueous solution of halogens is added to aqueous solution of halide ions so for example chlorine is added to sodium chloride and that's experiment one and so on now they're saying that the nine resulting mixtures were then shaken with hexane the nine tubes were corked and left to stand so that the aqueous and organic solvents could separate the layers Today. We're skipping this question because it's from organic. Uh, question 65. The properties of chlorine, bromine, and their compounds are compared. Which property is smaller for chlorine than for bromine? Okay. Option A is bond strength of the hydrogen halide bond. Bond strength of hydrogen halide bond is stronger in chlorine than bromine. So wrong. First ionization energy. First ionization energy is larger in chlorine because chlorine's radius is smaller. This is wrong. Solubility of the silver halide and ammonia, this is again wrong because chloride is more soluble. Strength of the van der Waals forces, D is right. Strength of van der Waals forces is stronger. Van der Waals forces are stronger in bromine because there are more electrons. Question 66, X, Y, and Z represent different halogens. The table shows the results of nine experiments in which aqueous solutions of halogens are separated to aqueous solutions of halide ions. Okay, so which of the following table, which of the following table contains the ions in order of their decreasing strength as reducing agents? Okay, so firstly, in group seven, the strength of reducing agents increases down the group. So the weakest reducing agent is chloride ion, then bromide ion, and then iodide ion. So that means that we have to have iodide ion over here, then bromide ion, and then chloride ion. Now we know that if iodine if iodine is added to solutions of chlorine, chloride or bromide, because iodine is lower than chloride, chlorine, bromine in the in group 17, there will be no reaction. And obviously, if there was, if it was added to iodide, it would not react. So that is why the row that has no reaction is for iodine, iodide. It's for iodine, sorry. So that means that X is iodine, so either A or B. Now, if we have bromine, bromine will react with chlorine, with, sorry, chloride ion. Sorry, it will not react with chloride ion. It will react with iodide ion because it's above iodine. So it will, it will, react with iodide iodide is x it's it's reacting with iodide so either y or obviously either y or z but it's not reacting with chlorine so we'll take z as bromine so z as bromine z has to be second so that's why b is the correct option 67 
when chlorine reacts with hot aqueous sodium hydroxide two chlorine containing ions are formed one of these is the chloride ion what is the other ion so when sodium hydroxide hot aqueous sodium hydroxide reacts with chlorine this is specifically for hot aqueous sodium chloride sodium hydroxide this will produce sodium chloride plus sodium chloride 7 and water so the other ion that contains chlorine is clo3 negative 1 that is option c question 68 j is a salt of one of the halogens chlorine bromine iodine or astatine the reaction scheme shows a series of reactions using a solution of j as the starting reagent so j is reacted with silver nitrate and a precipitate is formed so it can be either of chlorine bromine or iodine that precipitate when dissolved in dilute nh3 forms a colorless solution this shows that j has to be a salt of chloride a chloride salt because only chlor only agcl would dissolve in it would completely dissolve in dilute nh3 so that is why the right option would be a chlorine and bromine have different volatilities which row identifies the more volatile of the two elements and gives the correct explanation <clears throat> chlorine is more volatile than bromine because the van der waals forces in chlorine are weaker because there are less electrons in chlorine basically in group 17 down the group van der waal strength of van der waal forces decreases volatility increases which is why volatility increases so it's either c or d now the explanation for the difference so the oh, so c says instantaneous dipole induced dipole forces are greater in bromine than they are in chlorine this is correct d says instantaneous dipole induced dipole forces are greater in chlorine this is wrong that is why option c okay question 70 when concentrated sulfuric acid reacts with sodium sodium iodide the products include sulfur iodine hydrogen sulfide and sulfur dioxide which statement is correct option a says hydrogen sulfide is the product of a reduction reaction equation the book option b says iodide ions are stronger oxidizing agents than sulfate ions okay so first we'll write the equation we'll first write the reactions so when sodium iodide reacts with sulfuric acid concentrated sulfuric acid the first reaction the first reaction is in the first reaction hi and sodium hydrogen sulfate are formed then what happens is that hi again reacts with sulfuric acid produces h2s plus i2 plus water in the first in the first reaction h2so4 is acting as an acid in the second reaction it's as, it's acting as an oxidizing agent so over here h2so4 is oxidizing hi hi is reducing h2so4 so that is why the first option that says that hydrogen sulfide is a product of reduction reaction is correct because hi is reducing its to support and if you want to check that the we can check it by finding the oxidation states of sulfur 
in H2S4, the oxidation state of sulfur is plus six. And in H2S, the oxidation state of sulfur is minus two. Question 71, a solution of sodium hydroxide reacts with three mole of fluorine under certain conditions. So sodium hydroxide plus chlorine, the reaction produces five mole of sodium chloride and one mole of X. Okay, so through the oxidation, through the balancing, we can observe that this is the reaction of hot sodium hydroxide with chlorine. Sorry, Cl2. The reaction of hot sulfuric acid, hot sodium hydroxide with chlorine is NaOH plus Cl2 produces NaCl plus NaClO3 plus H2O. To balance this, this is the balanced equation. So these two equations are similar. There are, there are three chlorines, there are five NaCl, one mole of X. That means that X is NaClO3 to C. Question 72, redox reactions are common in the chemistry. Redox reactions are common in the chemistry of group 17, which statement is correct? So the first option A is bromide ions will reduce Cl2, but not I2. This is the opposite. They would reduce I2 and not Cl2. It's fine. It's opposite. Sorry, option A is correct because basically <clears throat> bromide ions are reacting with chlorine and iodine. Bromide, bromide ions will not react with iodine but they will react with chlorine because chlorine will oxidize them and bromide ions will reduce chlorine. So option A is correct. Option B is Cl2 will oxidize Br minus ion, but not Ir minus ion. This is wrong because Cl2 will oxidize both bromide ions and iodide ions mm -hmm. because it's above them in the group, in group 17. C is F2 is the weakest oxidizing agent. This is wrong because F2 is the strongest oxidizing agent. And D is Iodide ions are the weakest reducing agents. Again, this is the opposite. Iodide ions are the strongest reducing agents. Now some questions from P2. So the first question is, we have to complete this table. They're asking for the color of halogens and the physical state of temperature. Chlorine is yellowish green. Gaseous. And gas, bromine is reddish brown and liquid. Yeah. Iodine is black. Iodine is black and solid. Next part, concentrated sulfuric acid is added to separate solid samples of magnesium chloride, magnesium bromide, and magnesium iodide. Okay, so. Sulfuric acid is reacted with magnesium chloride, magnesium bromide, and magnesium iodide. On reaction with magnesium chloride, steamy fumes of an acidic gas will be observed. Colorless. And the acidic gas is HCl, colorless, not chlorine, it's HCl. Oh. So, <laughs> with magnesium bromide, With magnesium bromide, bromine vapors of bromine gas are produced, which are reddish in color. With magnesium iodide, purple vapors of iodine are produced. Next part says, give an equation for the reaction of 
concentrated sulfuric acid with magnesium chloride. So MgCl2 plus M sorry plus H2SO4 <coughs> produces HCl plus magnesium sulfate. Next part, when dilute nitric acid and aqueous silver nitrate are added to a solution of magnesium halide, so there's a magnesium halide and silver nitrate is being added, a pale cream precipitate is formed. The precipitate is soluble in concentrated aqueous ammonia, but not soluble in dilute aqueous ammonia. This shows that the precipitate is silver bromide because silver bromide is pale, is creamy, it has a cream, creamy color and it dissolves in concentrated aqueous ammonia, but does not dissolve in dilute aqueous ammonia. Okay. Back. Sorry. Like silver chloride dissolves in dilute and concentrated both aqueous ammonia. Mm. Silver bromide dissolves only in concentrated aqueous Sorry. ammonia. Okay. And silver iodide does not dissolve in both. Sorry. Give an equation with state symbols for the reaction of the precipitate with concentrated aqueous ammonia. Okay, so there's silver bromide plus aqueous ammonia. This is solid. This produces Ag NH three two Br, just aqueous. And two NH3. Next part a hot glass rod is plunged into separate gas jars. One contains hydrogen chloride and the other contains hydrogen iodide. For each gas state, what would you observe, if anything, and write an equation for any reaction that takes place? Okay, so HCl is thermally stable. So when the hot glass rod is plunged in, it won't react, it won't decompose or react, but with HI, it is less thermally stable. So when the hot rod is plunged in, HI will decompose to H2 plus I2. So purple vapors are seen. The second part, explain your answer to one in terms of enthalpy changes. This is from chemical energetics, but we'll explain it over here. So HCl has a higher bond energy, which we can see from the data booklet, whereas HI has a lower bond energy. That is why the bond of HI is more easily broken. <clears throat> what is the role of the hot glass rod in any reaction that occurs? So the hot glass rod provides the activation energy for the reaction to occur. Activation energy or the heat for it to decompose. Next question, hydrochloric acid is manufactured by burning the hydrogen formed in this electrolysis of they're saying construct an equation for burning of hydrogen in chlorine. So basically there's hydrogen and it's reacting with chlorine. This will form HCl and two moles of HCl. When the product of one dissolves in water, there's a change in bonding. Explain with the aid of an equation what change in bonding has occurred. Okay, so so in acids, the hydronium ion 
and the chloride ion is formed. First, the bonding was this bonding was covalent, but now there are ions, so this bonding is ionic. So the change is from covalent to ionic. This is the hydro hydroxonium ion is formed when any acid dissolves in water. Next, describe with the aid of equation, the chloride symbols, what happens when hydrochloric acid is added to aqueous silver nitrate. So HCl plus AgNO3 produces AgCl plus HNO3. This is aqueous. This is aqueous. AgCl is a precipitate. And nitric acid is aqueous. In the second part, an excess of aqueous ammonia is added to the resulting mixture. So the resulting mixture was AgCl and HNO3. Now over here, AgCl will react with the ammonia. This is solid. This is aqueous ammonia. This will produce AgNH32 and AgNH32Cl, which is soluble in aqueous. So basically, we have to describe what happens. So in the first equation, a white PPT is formed. The PPT is AgCl, silver chloride. This is aqueous and dissolved with the colorless. And in the second reaction, the PPT dissolves. Next question. The gaseous hydrogen halides may be prepared by reacting the corresponding sodium salt with anhydrous phosphoric acid. When the sodium halide NaX was used, the following reaction occurred in a sample of gaseous HX was collected in a gas jar. A hot glass rod was placed in the sample of HX and immediately a red orange color was observed. Red orange color in HX. X is an halide ion. So if a red orange color is being produced, that means that the halide ion was bromide. So what is the identity of NaX? NaX is sodium bromide. Part B, what gas other than HX would be formed is if concentrated sulfuric acid were used with NaX instead of phosphoric acid. So if concentrated sulfuric acid was used, then Okay, so sulfuric acid H2SO4 plus NABR, this produces HBR plus uh, HBR NH. plus NAHSO4. This is the first reaction. Now, because H2SO4 acts as an oxidizing agent, so HBr, which is the reducing agent, will react with H2SO4, producing bromine gas. Bromine gas and sulfur dioxide gas plus water. So we can write over here for what gas other than HX would be formed. It can be either bromine or sulfur dioxide. Part C suggest why phosphoric acid rather than concentrated sulfuric acid is used to make samples of HX from the corresponding sodium salt. Now, as I said when I was writing the reaction, reaction the equations, this reaction occurs because H2SO4 is an oxidizing agent. So phosphoric acid is used because it is not an oxidizing agent. So if we have to form 
HX. So we need an asset and not an oxidizing agent. So it will not oxidize HX or HBR. Yeah. HX will HBR. 